these actually move. Oops. <laughs> or it breaks. <laughs> that works too, I guess. Hi everybody, my name is Chad and today I'm going to be reviewing the Ariel Deluxe gift set from the Disney Store. I'm so excited, I saw pictures of these on Instagram like four weeks ago and I have been searching all the Disney stores in my area, um, going there like a couple times a week and <laughs> checking to see if they've gotten it in and they finally got it in. Now the main reason I wanted to get this particular Ariel is because I don't have any Ariel doll in the blue dress and this one comes in the blue dress. It also comes with an Eric doll and two extra outfits. You've got her mermaid outfit and the pink dress. It's also a play set so it comes with the boat which has like the scene from the kiss the girl scene in the movie. Um, so that's really cool. I like the fact that you can display them. It's a pretty big box and it's a very simple box but um, on the side you've got some like fish and everything and you got like this picture of Ariel that kind of wraps around here and then this side is pretty much just open. You got a couple more fish there. The back is pretty bare. It just says Ariel Deluxe gift set uh, and then you've got it says the little mermaid over here and for this set I paid $59.95 uh, and in Canada it's $83.95. So yeah, so that's the box. And it's kind of hard to see them because of the glare on the reflection here of the, the case, but I'm gonna go ahead and get them out of the box so we can see them a little better. So before I fully got them out of the box here, I just wanted to show you guys what they look like in the box, the way that they're displayed without the glare from the, the packaging. So um, as you can see, they're all set up in the boat and in the background, it's like the lagoon that they were in during the kiss the girl scene. Uh, you can see some like trees and little cattails and stuff like that back there. So yeah, and you've got the, the dolls and everything is set up like the scene, even with the fish spewing water here. And there's flounder. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and finish getting them out of the box and then we'll take a closer look. Okay, so I just got these out of the box and oh my god, you guys, these dolls are so awesome. First, let's take a look at the boat. Um, actually, let's go ahead and take a look at Eric first, and then we'll look at the boat. So here's Eric. I think that they did a really good job at um, cap capturing his likeness in doll form. Um, he is fully posable. He can turn at the head. He has movement at the shoulder, the elbows, the wrists, the hips, the knees, and the um, ankle. His shoulder and elbow joints are really stiff so they're kind of hard to pose but his legs are like super loose <laughs> so it's hard to make him stand up on his own um, so you'd probably need some kind of a stand or never mind <laughs> he proved me wrong you can stand him up um, pretty easily I guess as long as it's on a surface that's not gonna like move or anything like that um, but you can always just keep him sitting down in the boat Nextly, let's go ahead and look at, well, here's Sebastian, and I think that Sebastian is really cute. He's like in the middle of singing. He's got this little hole right here, which works. There's like a plug um, or a little peg right here on the front of the boat, and you can actually just stick him right on the boat right there. So that way he can be singing to Ariel and Eric. So here are the oars. They're both basically the same uh, just reversed so that way with the little frogs that are singing <laughs> and I think it's just really cute. The boat and the water are two separate pieces so here's the water piece that has all the fish on it and then of course it's got flounder here as part of it and then it's got this little peg here on both sides that, with the two little pegs sorry the little holes here with the two little pegs on the inside of the water that this sits into. But here's the boat. These are what the oars go through. So that way Eric can paddle the boat. Um, these actually move. Oops. <laughs> or it breaks. <laughs> that works too, I guess. 
So as long as you're careful, you can actually move these things that the, the oars sit in. So you can adjust them to be wherever you are, whether you want to have Eric sitting on this side or this side, or whoever's paddling the boat. So now let's take a look at Ariel. So I think that Ariel is very pretty. I really like the more recent like face sculpt for the Disney Store Ariels. I think that they're much more movie accurate than ones in the past have been. Definitely, definitely more movie accurate than like the Hasbro or the Mattel ones. But this doll is beautiful. I love the blue dress. This is one of my favorite looks for her. It's not 100% movie accurate because in the movie, this part, instead of being this like light aqua color, it's white and her vest right here looks like a corset. Um, in here, it's like navy, but in the movie, it was black. And I wish it would be a little bit more movie accurate, but that's okay. This is actually a pretty decent quality dress. So I also like the fact that she has this bow because in the movie, she did have a bow as well. I can't remember off the top of my head what color the bow was, but I'm assuming it's this color. Um, her hair is extremely gelled. It's like helmet hair, <laughs> but at least it is movie accurate. They have it parted on the correct side. I know a lot of people don't like it when Ariel's hair is parted on the other side. So they have it correct on the correct side this time. And her eyes are looking off to her right. And this is just like the classic dolls. She is pretty articulated. She has movement at the head, the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, uh, the hip, and then they have, she has the bend and snap uh, knees. And this is not the one with the flat foot. Uh, I know a lot of people didn't like the ones with the flat feet. This is the one with like more of the pointed toes, but she comes wearing these little cute little black flats, which is what she was wearing in the movie. She was wearing little black flats at this point in the movie. So, and then, like I said, her hair is very, very, very gelled. It's like, it's hard, <laughs> but it looks really nice. I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm actually gonna leave it this way. It's also these small parts that don't have as much gel on them. I can feel it and it's actually a really good quality, which is nice because the past few or a few years ago, the Disney Store dolls, the hair that they used was a very cheap material and I didn't like it. This is very smooth, very silky. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set her back here. I wanna show you the other fashions that come in this set. I have a couple other Ariel dolls here that I'm going to use to model these outfits. So first up here, we have her mermaid look and um, it comes with, this is her shell bra. Um, I actually really like this. I think this is a clever idea. It's basically just a bikini top. Um, since it's supposed to just be shells, it's like a tube top style. It does have straps to help keep it up, but they are clear and I like that. And then it has this little gathered fabric that looks like the shells. So I think that that was a cute detail there. And then this is a very simple mermaid tail. Um, it's just basically a tube that has elastic at the top. It's a stretchy material with this metallic print on it to make the scales. And then it has this tool material for the fins around her waist and for the tail fin at the end. The one thing about these tails or the material that they use is the paint seems to want to crack when you stretch it. So it's not the best, but, um, I, at least it looks nice. So, and, and for somebody like me, who's just going to be having this on my shelf, um, I'm not going to care too much about it. And now let's go ahead and take a look at her pink dress. Now I like this. Um, I think I really like her pink dress from the movie. This does look like her pink dress from the movie, but it's not very movie accurate. I, I wish that it was more movie accurate because it's such a beautiful like princess gown and I wish that that is what this represented a little bit better. But I'm just happy to have her pink dress because you never see Ariel in her pink dress when it comes to dolls. So I'm just glad that they added it. Um, it's the whole thing's pretty much covered in this glitter, which is getting everywhere. <laughs> but um, anyway, it's got this like puff sleeves and this lace around here. The lace can't decide if it wants to like stick up or fold over like it, it Velcro's in the back here and over the Velcro it is folded over. So I folded the lace over. I think that's what it's supposed to look like. So it's this double layer dress. Now in the movie, 
It, she also has long sleeves. There's some like details on the sleeves themselves, the puffy part. And um, this part, the skirt part, was much bigger, much poofier, like an actual like uh, princess dress. So I wish that it looked a little bit more like that, but that's okay. I, I'm, like I said, I'm really happy that they at least added this dress. Oh, I like to have some variation rather than just having like 17, you know, mermaid dolls in the same exact outfit. I like having the different outfits from the movie. So overall, I think that this is a great gift set to get. I think that the price is really good. $60 gets you two dolls with a whole play set plus two additional fashions. So I think that overall, I think it is a good price. Um, I also, I think that the quality is amazing on these dolls. Um, it's really refreshing to see dolls with better quality coming out. I wish that they would put just a little bit more into the outfits themselves and then I'd be happy. But I, you know what, for the price and for everything that you get in this set, I'm happy about it. So so anyway, let me know what you guys think. Do you like this set? Are you going to be getting it yourself? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm really happy I was able to pick up this set. And if you like this set, there are a couple of other options. Like there's one that's Belle and she comes with the whole like table from the Be Our Guest scene and Snow White. And she comes with the scene where she's dancing with Dopey and also... Mulan comes with her whole like outside pangoda and it comes with little brother. So that's actually really cute as well. I'm probably not going to be picking up those particular sets. I really, really just wanted this set because I wanted to add this aerial to my collection. But anyway, that is it for this video. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up to let me know about it. And if you want to see more videos like it, why not hit subscribe? And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that way you know every time I upload. Keep an eye out for some other doll reviews and a very special Halloween video that I'm going to be putting up soon. And that should be up hopefully before Halloween. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.